Hello. Welcome. My name is Marissa Vertries and I'm the organizing director here at the Global Catholic Climate Movement. I'm recording this video here today to help explain how to register for our Earth Day campaign and access the resources that we've put together. This year, our Earth Day campaign focuses on inviting you to plant a tree uh, in recognition of the importance of trees in reducing global warming, the solidarity with those in the Amazon and other places that rely on the forests, and as a symbol of our commitment to our common home. We also invite you to advocate for your common home uh, with resources to write to your own government leaders, whether that's in your local uh, community, your state or provincial leaders, or your national government, asking for a plan in place to meet our goals under the Paris Agreement to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now this year, Earth Day comes after uh, the day after Easter, and so recognizing that this is a busy time, we will be hosting our Earth Day events the week after Easter on Mercy Sunday. This also goes along with Pope Francis's call for an eighth work of mercy to be added, mercy to the earth. So I will now show how to join our Earth Day campaign. Now we have put together an Earth Day site with a wealth of resources and registration made available for you. To access this site, you'd visit catholicclimatemovement.global backslash Earth Day 2019. Here you can see some of the information about the campaign, the invitation to plant a tree and to advocate for action on climate change. You can register your event. Uh, we also have room here to add a link to an event flyer. So if you would like to use this as an opportunity to promote your Earth Day event as well, you can link to your flyer here and we will have that on the map and connected with others. If you scroll down further, you'll also see uh, the wealth of resources that we have. Here you can look at events around the world that are taking place that will be added to the map as you register. Up above, you can see things that our team has created, including the event planning guide, walking you through step-by-step step how to host an Earth Day event, putting together a team, speaking with your pastor, gathering your supplies, uh, and considering how to engage other leaders in your community. You'll also see here that we have a report back form. This is very valuable to us so that we can keep track of how many trees were planted, who participated in the event, and importantly, where advocacy actions took place. By providing this report form to us, you help us to form better campaigns, as well as to learn more about what our network is interested in doing and the work that you've done yourself. By attaching pictures, if you feel that you would want to share those, you'll also uh, be able to share your own stories from the event as well. And we can share those with others if it's something that you would like to see happen. We also have here an advocacy guide, providing an overview of our request and a draft letter to, uh, to elected officials. Again, you may choose an elected official at the local, provincial, state, or national level. I want to mention as well that we recognize that being able to advocate to our political leaders is a privilege that not everyone around the world shares, unfortunately. And so if it would be dangerous for you to advocate in this way, uh, or simply not possible based on the political system that you are in, we recognize that fact and are not asking you to put yourselves in danger. However, if it is possible, then we do have an obligation to raise our voices in defense of our common home and ask for strong leadership in addressing climate change. For those of you who are unable to advocate in a political level, we encourage you to consider if there are institutions that you could ask for commitments or ask for change, whether that's your own parish, your religious order, a Catholic school or university, or perhaps in the local community. Again, this may not be possible, but we do ask that you think creatively about if there is an opportunity. If not, then joining your voice through the tree planting, through prayers, uh, and a commitment to, to participate where possible is a valuable commitment. And we continue to hope for the day when advocacy in this way is possible for people around the world. You'll also see here that we have created lesson plans uh, available for children and for teenagers that can be shared with the religious education pro uh, program 
or a Catholic school. In addition, we have uh, a prayer service for your tree planting, small group discussion guide, uh, more information on how to choose an elected official, information about the Amazon and its people and the Synod on the Amazon, a sign-in sheet for your events, and numerous communications and outreach resources, including guidance on local media, bulletin and pulpit announcements, a draft flyer, and many resources for reaching out on social media. As you can see, we've put together numerous resources in order to make this uh, as easy as possible and to help you as much as we can, recognizing that you are doing the work in the communities and on the ground to raise the Catholic voice for climate action. So I hope that you will uh, take from this the opportunity to consider hosting an Earth Day event and that we will see you on the map with your tree planting event and your advocacy event as Catholics come together to protect our common home. Thank you and God bless.